Hey everyone, we are going to take a quick look at some scientific notation, specifically when you get a negative exponent. So let's say you did some calculations. I don't know, I'm just making this up. And da, 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 da. there you go. You got something like this for your answer, 9.7656, blah, blah, blah. And it said E negative 14. What the heck? Um, as we talked about in a previous video, that E means times 10. And I did mention in that video that sometimes the number after the E is negative. That doesn't mean that your whole answer is negative. It means that the exponent specifically is negative. So let me write this down. I'm going to round to the nearest hundredth like I did last time. So 9.77 E means times 10. And the number after the E is the exponent. And then the number after the E in this problem happens to be a negative 14. A negative exponent does not mean a negative number. Like I said, it just means a very, very small number. Uh, this is less than one, uh, less than a trillionth is what this is. It's very, very small. Um, so a positive exponent means a very large number. A negative exponent means a very small number. Not a negative number, just a very small decimal. So that's it for this video. Nice and quick. Oh, I think I might have had a record there. No, I didn't. Um, we'll call it good. For more information about scientific notation, please check the resources in the description and feel free to reach out.